With the 10,000 Maniacs' second album, In My Tribe, came the hit cover tune of Cat Stevens' Peace Train, as well as recognition for the band. Now, with the success of the single What's the Matter Here off the same album, lead vocalist Natalie Merchant deals with popularity comes responsibility. The song What's the Matter Here addresses child abuse. It's hard for me to think that I have an audience of a million or so people and then that I wouldn't say something of value to them. That's why I write the kind of songs that I do, not because I appreciate the 60s and I want a revival of that spirit. I don't think that that innocence could possibly exist now. The 10,000 Maniacs are compared to a lot of folk singers and the sound of the 60s. Some of them are valid. Some of them I don't understand. Like Janis Joplin, it's hard for me to understand. It seems like she, her music is mostly blues-based. And none of our songs are blues based. Um, I understand the Purple Convention comparison, especially since we used their producer. But then we used Linda Ronstadt's producer, and I've never been compared to her. The band will be doing a benefit concert for Desmond Tutu. In fact, they perform in benefit concerts year round. Merchant feels that big concerts like those of Live Aid and Amnesty International are important. But too often, the awareness ends when the concerts are over. The really important just raising people's awareness of these groups that are doing incredible work. The only problem I have is that a lot of these artists don't seem to pay attention to the issues year-round. They participate in the concerts, but I wish their art would, they would realize the power of their art and reflect the times in their art. It's obvious Merchant takes her success seriously. She wants people to realize that the band has been untouched by the cynicism that's too often associated with the music business, something she attributes to her record label. A lot of groups were signed to major labels and they're hoping that the group will change, sort of mold into the mainstream. And what we've done through Electra is, and with their support, we've changed the mainstream to accept us. The 10,000 Maniacs have proven that acceptance doesn't always mean conforming. Brits Mayor, CNN, Entertainment News, New York.